सो आई थिंक वी आर लाइव नाउ यप सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड दिस इज़ द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ सी बी ग्रेड ए टूडे वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज रिमेंबर द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड नंबर and the name of accounting standard that's very important so my first uh, tip for you today remember please remember uh, the the number the numbers of accounting standard so that's really really important that's the my first recommendation of the day for you so i think we should uh, start with a very first question first of all let me check if everything is working properly very important yep so everything is working properly so 17 students are live with us i guess this is our time to be live nowadays uh, 9:30 so let me it's 9:53 actually i'm a little late so let me just share uh, okay somebody already shared it on okay somebody already did that so uh, let's move on uh, to the question number 1 very very important 10 questions we are going to do on the accounting standards so which of the following accounting standards is related to accounting of depreciation at least if uh, one question you are going to see from uh, this kind of uh, you know this is the kind of question you are going to going to find in the exam the number the accounting of depreciation is related with which of the following what is the number of accounting standard that is related to accounting of depreciation very very important question students Uh, the AS three AS four very important. Please remember the numbers. AS three is related to cash flows, so it was uh, the depreciation. It is C uh, accounting standard AS six. So AS six is the correct answer. AS six accounting standard six is the correct answer. Okay. Accounting standard depreciation uh, for fixed asset accounting standard six. So as per accounting standard six uh, depreciation accounting. what what is the definition of depreciable assets what is the depreciation uh, what is the definition of a depreciable asset very easy question but very very important very easy very important question uh, if you know the correct answer uh, please let me know the correct answer hello saurav shaudhri hello anju hello lalit uh, so the depreciation uh, depreciable assets they are having a limited life first of all the depreciable assets they are having limited life <laughs> which are used for more than one year limited life used more than one year which are held for uh, the production of goods and services both b and c all a b and c so having limited life that is correct uh, that can be used so if the, there is an asset uh, which can be used within a year obviously that is not a depreciable asset so limited life is there four year five year 10 year 20 year uh, which are held for the production of goods and services used for the business so what is the correct answer so e is the correct answer all of these are correct uh, any asset having limited life four year five year more than one year okay and used for the production of goods or rental income or administration of the business that that's a definition of Uh, depreciable asset according to accounting standard 6 very easy question depreciation is a process of valuation appropriation depletion segregation allocation so what is the purpose of depreciation let me give an example you purchase a machinery for the, for your business you purchase a machine for your business uh, the value of machine is rupees 5 lakh let's go very simple 5 lakh and it's uh, you know life is 5 year after 5 years it has no salvage value it's gone it has no salvage value sorry it has no salvage value 5 year is a 5 uh, lakh is a value 5 years is the you know uh, the life of asset there is no salvage value no salvage value jise kehte hain kabad theek hai us wo koi life hai hi nahi hai zero so value is 5 lakh so every uh, see if in the very first year we are considering rupees 5 lakh x as expense let's say we assume that 5 lakh is expense obviously we are going to book loss in the very first year but no we are going to use this as asset in the second year in the third year if we are posting nil expense we are i mean actually that is not the real picture of the account so every year we are going to post 1 lakh rupee as the expense that is depreciation that is a concept of depreciation okay so it is allocation 
so in the five years we allocated this expense we allocated this expense so it is allocation depreciation is a process of allocation okay to depict the clear picture so as per accounting standard 6 below mentioned all the fixed assets are depreciable assets so uh, see students uh, i can give you an example which uh, fixed assets are not depreciable which fixed assets are not depreciable land so students suppose you bought a land today the value is 20 lakh rupee what is going to happen to land there is no wear and tear to the land. The land is there. There is no wear and tear to the land. There can be wear and tear to the building. There can be wear and tear to the machinery, car, furniture. But land, there is no wear and tear. It will be there after 100 years. So land, there is no wear and tear to the land. It has no limited life. Uh, the land would be there even after after you land would be there. Okay, and uh, the, after the death of somebody, it will be there. Its life is more than one year. I mean, it's... So that's not an asset according to accounting standard six. Okay, so you cannot, uh, you know, uh, put depreciation, you cannot allocate depreciation to land. Okay. In financial year 2018-19 method for charging depreciation was changed straight line method to written down method. Now let me explain the difference between straight line and uh, written down method. So let's uh, assume uh, that, um, you know, uh, value of uh, you know value of asset the value of asset is 5 lakh so under state 5 year is the you know uh, that uh, you know lifetime is not given the depreciation is charged for example at the rate of 10 percent so if it is straight line method slm so in the very first year all the years 50,000 rupee depreciation would be charged 50,000 rupee depreciation would be charged uh, till it, it is written off 50,000 every year it is straight line method what is uh, you know written down method so in the very first year 50,000 would be charged in the second year the value of asset goes to 5 lakh minus 50,000 it becomes 4, 4 lakh and 50,000 in the second year 45,000 depreciation would be charged in the next year 45,000 uh, minus here so it is 4 lakh and 5,000 so it is 40,500. Uh, 40, so that's how uh, the depreciation is charged under the straight line and the straight line and the written uh, written down method. As you can see, uh, equal amount of depreciation charge here. But if we switch on to straight line method to the written down method, so the profit would be increased, which is not fair. Just to increase your uh, profits, you are changing the method, which is not fair. So, as per the accounting standard 6, no need to disclose. Obviously, there is a need to disclose. And yeah, both B and C are correct. You need to disclose. A proper disclosure should be there in that accounting statement. And the depreciation should be recalculated from the, uh, from the date uh, from which the asset came into use. From the very first year, uh, you need to change the method from very first year. Okay. The value would be changed from very first year. So, uh, both B and C are correct. Which of the following factors shall, shall be considered during the useful life of a depreciable asset? So, uh, yeah, if there is any doubt, students, you can ask your doubts anytime. Which of the following factors shall be considered during the useful life of a depreciable asset? Expected wear and tear, uh, obsolescence, legal and other limits on the use of asset. Which are the following? So, all the factors should be considered. Physical wear and tear, obviously, obsolescence. So, as per the accounting standard 6, due to normal wear and tear during the use of assets, assets are deteriorated physically, right? And its value is changed. Or if the new technology is there, its value is again changed. Its value is again changed. Okay. And again, if... Uh, if uh, depreciation to be recalculated, just a second, it was there. Uh, if there is a limit on the use of assets, the value is to be changed as well. Okay, so all A, B, C are correct. As per accounting standard 6, the main objective of providing depreciation is to know the actual profit, actual cash profit. Yeah, this is the one. Ca calculate the actual net profit to, to tell the true, you know, uh, to true profit that is the main goal yes it reduces the tax burden that is true uh, that is true it reduces the tax burden that is true uh, but 
बट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द मेन गोल इज टू कैलकुलेट द नेट प्रॉफिट ओके दैट इज द मेन गोल दैट इज द मेन गोल ओके सो कैलकुलेट द नेट प्रॉफिट टेलिंग द करेक्ट पिक्चर गिविंग द करेक्ट पिक्चर ऑफ द गिविंग आउट द करेक्ट पिक्चर ऑफ द uh you know uh, the value of business uh, just showing the correct uh, you know picture of the business that is the main goal that is correct it reduces the tax burden but the objective is to calculate the net profit okay so accounting standard 2 deals with what accounting standard 2 deals with the uh, valuation of inventories the accounting standard 2 deals with valuation of inventory please remember that as per as2 finish goods will be considered as part of tangible assets if it is held for sale in ordinary course of business if it is held for personal use if it is held for construction contracts so for construction contract students uh, there is a separate you know accounting standard for personal use no it's not correct uh, if it is uh, held for the personal use it is not the point it is it is not an inventory only if it is held for the ordinary course of business it is an inventory only uh, only it it is so then it is an inventory it is hold for sale so if it is a work in progress at on 31st of march there might be some inventory which is work in progress uh, for consumption in production of goods or services for sale uh, including uh, maintenance for contracts uh, construction contracts there is a separate uh, accounting standard personal use there is no point of uh, you know uh, mentioning personal uh, you know uh, the goods for personal use in that financial accounts right so which accounting standard will be applied on the inventories of construction contract i told you there is a separate accounting standard that is as7 there is a separate uh, you know accounting standard for construction contract that is as7 not as2 that's all for today students i hope you like the way i teach you can join my complete course seb grade a 2020 all the pdfs for the live sessions are also available for free in this uh, you know if you take the demo the demo you can just take the demo of seb grade a 2020 course the link is available in the descri description and you can download all the notes and video lessons are available uh, all the notes are available on the latest syllabus all the videos that we have prepared based on the latest syllabus uh, proper test series is there we have prepared test series for phase 1 phase 2 download uh, downloadable and a print friendly notes are there descriptive paper evaluation is provided and we got nine final selections in sebi grade a 2018 and you can just join it on bankexamstudy.com all the links are available in the description you can use the coupon code guru20 that is the coupon code that we are having right now you'll be getting 20% discount this is the list of students who cracked sebi grade a 2018 using a study material we just got uh, less than 40 students so ibbs rrb uh, scale 2 scale 3 bank of baroda wealth management we are a small institute i mean we don't get more than like like hundreds of students uh, we get few students and our goal is to get maximum selections right so that's all for today students uh, subscribe uh, click the subscribe button you can also follow us on telegram the telegram channel name is bank exams today again my whatsapp number in case somebody needs my whatsapp number for any clarification my whatsapp number is 9067201000 that is my personal whatsapp number if there is any doubt regarding the course or anything you can whatsapp me directly so like the video that's really really important for me uh, so let me see good night good night everybody do not uh, share your email addresses anyway that is hidden okay uh so that's all for today students i hope um, i hope uh, you got my point now so that's all for today uh, these topics are very very important these all these topic are very very important so thank you and uh, have a nice day good night